Welcome back. Talk for a little Rudden and shit. And Kylie joining us now on the phone with the newest members of the Jets secondary, Darrell Revis. Darrell, thanks for joining us. And look, let's get right to it. You won with the Patriots. You seem so happy. What was the deciding factor in you returning to your original team? Um, you know, it was a tough decision. Uh, you know, I went back into, you know, free agency, you know, for the second year in a row. And, and um, you know, I just tried to figure out the best opportunity for me. And, and um, you know, it was an opportunity for me to come back, uh, you know, and play for the New York Jets. And, and um, you know, I felt like it was the best situation for me. Darrell, was there anything looking back now that the Patriots could have done to maybe keep you up in New England? Um, you know, I, I don't know, man. Everything, uh, you know, plays out how it does. And, and um, you know, they, they had an opportunity. Uh, uh, they, had a, they had a number of options to do a, a number of things. I mean, I, I had an option for $20 million that they could have picked up. And, um they didn't decide to, which is fine, and, and um, then we tried to negotiate a, another deal. So, um, you know, that was the second option, and, and um, that, you know, that didn't go through as well. But uh, I mean, it was—I had a number of options from uh, an offer from other teams as well. So, I mean, it was like I said, it was the second year for me in free agency, and, and uh, you know, my whole thing was just, uh, you know. Listen to what every what every team has to say uh, during that process, like I did last year, and and um, you know try to pick the best place for me to play ball. Darrell, what other teams were involved? I know Bleacher Report, Jason Cole had some behind the scenes access. Were the Packers interested? How about the Pittsburgh Steelers? Um, both of those teams were uh, the Chiefs, um, Cleveland. Um, I'm trying to. It, it's, uh, I know those teams were um, off the top of my head. I can't uh, remember more, but uh, yeah, man, it was it was the Packers, Steelers, uh, Baltimore as well, Cleveland, Chiefs. Um, so uh, I had I had a number of, and, and the Jets also. So uh, and then also the Pats. So it was a number of teams there that um, you know I, I, I sat down and, and had conversations with and. and um, you know, to see if we can work some out. Darrell, do you think this year's Jets defense is capable of getting to the level of last year's New England defense? Uh, you know, I'm not going to compare, um, you know, the Pats defense from, from uh, you know, the, the future of, of the New York Jets defense. Um, you know, we got our own thing going, you know, in, in New York, and, uh, you know, we got some great players on defense, you know. Uh, we got Mo Wilkerson, we, we got Sheldon, uh, we got Calvin Pace, we have uh, David Harris. We, uh, our secondary is loaded. We got a lot of depth. So, uh, you know, we, we're going back, you know, I really feel like we're going back to our to, to our 9 10 season where, where the defense is very strong, very stout, and, and uh, we play a great defense. How about the style, though, Darrell? You know, you had Rex Ryan, obviously, before. Then you went to Bill Belichick. What have you heard? What do you understand about the way Todd Bowles is going to run his defense? Well, um, I am a big fan of, of Coach's defense. I, I watched, uh, you know, his defense in Arizona last year. Uh, you know, I kept tabs on, on, on Camardi to, to see how he – how my fellow teammate was doing, and, and uh, you know, Kamari had a great year in that defense. Um, but but coach's defense, man, um, is very aggressive. I mean, he, last year I think he fifty uh, percent of <laughs> of his plays was, was uh, over fifty percent was, was blitzes. So he's very aggressive, man. And, and I think uh, the type of players that we have, uh, considering his scheme, uh, you know, I see that we're going to play some aggressive football uh, once again. Darrell, what's your take on the tampering charges going on now between the Jets and the Patriots, with your name being the focal point here? Was there tampering and in any way, shape, or form? Is this flattering? <laughs> uh, you know, I'm not really, uh, you know, with the tampering charges, I, I really don't know, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, the whole story or all the details. Uh, you know, as of right now, you know, um, you know, both organizations are going to do what they're going to do, and and, uh, you know, the best fits the organization. And, and um, you know, for, for me at this point, it's just to sit here and get, get ready for the 2015 uh, football season. That's the only thing I can do is just focus on ball. 
Well, you know, it, just because it does directly involve your name, are you at a point where, you, you know, you just kind of want it to go away? Maybe the Jets should drop it at this point. Um, uh, you know, I really don't know. I don't have that call. Um, you know, if, you know, if the Jets feel, um, you know, if, 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 if our management feels that, uh, you know, if Tampa charges need to be, need to be filed or, or whatever, um, and they have a strong case uh, of tampering charges, then, um, you know, they, they, that's what they, that's the decision that they made. And, and um, that's how I look at it. I, I don't, even though my name is involved in it, um, you know, I'm, nobody's calling me about it. I'm not really uh, involved in it. Um, even when I was in New England and, um, you know, the stuff came up, you know, and, and um, the only thing I can do is just really, just, just uh, you know, wait to it, uh, you know, all, all, all pans out and, and see how it goes and, and just continue to play football. Darrell, Woody Johnson said yesterday, you guys have not spoke since you signed with the Jets. Is there anything that you want to make sure that you say to Woody that might clear the air based upon some of the prior holdouts and issues? Um, uh, I, I actually, uh, you know, when, when me and Woody, uh, you know, talk and, and see each other again, I think, uh, you know, we'll discuss it behind closed doors, you know, um, me and Woody known each other, you know, for years, and, and um, you know, I, I'm trust me, I'll see him uh, a lot, you know, these next couple of years. So, but uh, on top of that, I mean, you know, as soon as he comes, I know he's busy, you know, with, with a lot of things he, he has on his plate. But when he comes, you know, to the facility, uh, I'm definitely, uh, you know, want to sit down and just talk to him and, and see how he's doing, and, and um, you know, thank him for for bringing me back to be a New York Jet. And, Darrell, off of that, is there anything specifically that you'd like to hear from Woody Johnson, a guy who insisted that the new general manager trade you a few years ago, a guy who one year ago didn't want to go after you in free agency? Uh, no, I, I, think, um, I think I understand that whole situation and, and, and uh, how everything, you know, happened. You know, with, with me tearing my knee and, and uh, me getting traded, you know, um, you know, I guess the organization felt, uh, you know, it was best to move forward, which is fine. You know, there's, there's nothing wrong with that. It's, uh, you know, every year, you know, teams have to, you know, pick the best 53 man roster that they can. And, and um, you know, I guess at that time, um, you know, they want to move on. And that's fine. I, I really don't have to. Uh, I'm, I'm, that's, my thing is not, it's not going to be asking those type of questions. Uh, you know, when I meet Mr. Johnson, uh, no, it's definitely not. It's just going to be uh, thanks for giving me the opportunity uh, again, uh, my second, second, second opportunity to play for his organization again, uh, and it's going to be uh, you know a whole thank you type of uh, deal. Darrell, one last one here. You know, it's funny. Rex Ryan was asked yesterday about the Jets having both you and Crow back on defense, and may have been a little tongue in cheek, but he said you guys might be backups had he been with him in Buffalo. What's your response to hearing something like that from Rex? <laughs> uh, he's, he's being modest. <laughs> uh, uh, no, uh, that's that's pretty uh, funny. Um, I don't know. I mean, we all we all got to work for our job, and I mean that's what training camps for. But uh, if, if I've been a backup, hey, <laughs> that's that's how he feels. Uh, that's his that's that's his uh, opinion, I guess. Whatever gets you through the day, <laughs> Terrell. Great stuff. We appreciate it. We'll talk to you again real soon. All right, thank you guys.